Hello again. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a video. Been really busy, um, and also to be honest, the the markets have been completely flat. So there's been very little to report on. Anyway, um, I had a lot of feedback from the last video I did when I was looking at um, the coin Grid Coin GRC, and there was a lot of interest in uh, what was Grid Coin and how does it work. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to go through, uh, to the best of my knowledge, how Gridcoin is working. Um, and it looks like the interest is growing quite substantially because if you look at um, the markets, uh, GRC at the moment has, has shot up. I mean, it used to be the case that um, volume on most of the markets was under, a, under one Bitcoin. And at the moment, it's around 38, uh, just on the Polynex uh, exchange. So, um, as you remember in the video, I was getting quite excited about um, being able to sell for about, let's see, 50643, I think was the highest I went for. Um, and that was double the price at which I'd gone in on uh, Gridcoin. Um, and in fact, so much of the grid coin I owned was actually mined. It's actually been created uh, over the last year uh, through my involvement in in the wallet and, do, and doing uh, the Boink system that I talked about, which I'll talk a bit further about soon. In any case, the um, I realised that I'd gone in a little bit early. I was a bit surprised. I hadn't seen it go above this kind of level on a sustained way before and um, I sold a little bit more at the higher levels of just under um, let's see four zeros one and then it dropped away and to be honest I didn't pay much attention because uh, I wasn't interested in selling any more grid coin um, however it's just kept rising and rising and it's gone to a peak of about uh, four zeros one nine eight five um, nine six in fact so um, it's dropping off a bit now which you would expect um, and I do have I've brought in a few more grid coin to sell at, at a high level that hasn't happened yet um, I'm not that eager to get rid of it to be honest I'm quite happy sitting on the grid coin that I have um, so grid coin what is it well in essence, what Gridcoin is, is a way of uh, having a cryptocurrency linked to an existing um, piece of software and an existing distributed network that has been uh, working for about 10 years, I think. And what that is, is Boink, which if we look, this is Boink. And so it's an open source, volunteer, orientated computer grid that combines processing power of all the individual users uh, for the purpose of scientific research. And it's run by Berkeley. And I think the first time I heard of it was when it was doing the SETI uh, processing. So it was taking all the, um, all the recordings, uh, uh, radio telescope recordings, I think, um, and listening for signals and um, to process it they were using everyone's uh, computers so you let your computer while it idles uh, to actually process the data and automatically sends it back um, in fact boink um, is quite a boring website when you look at it but um, it's quite fascinating when you start to delve into it um, if you look at the projects um, they have a wide range of projects. Uh, so you've got Asteroids, um, University in Prague. That's one of the projects I'm doing, in fact. Um, that's looking for all the near-Earth asteroids in the solar system. You've got uh, particle physics. Um, you've got um, multiple applications of things like Chinese Academy of Sciences, um, climate uh, prediction. You've got lots of mathematical um processing trying to prove mathematical uh, fora uh, sorry um, forums and um, theories uh, there's cosmology there's uh, biology there's protein mapping astrophysics cryptography it goes on and on and on um, some really good projects there and you can 
Um, you can do varying levels of uh, CPU or GPU. So most of them are aimed at more the CPU, which makes it a bit fairer for people with just ordinary computers. Um, but they do offer some of these projects um, do do allow uh, GPU um, to to do as well. And th those ones are hard to compete uh, because obviously. Um, your value to those projects are based on your processing speed and and the amount you do. So obviously, if you're up, if you're using a CPU on a laptop or something, and you're competing against uh, someone with GPU, then you're going to come off worse. So you do have to look a little bit at the sorts of projects that meet um, the hardware that you've got. Anyway, when you um, when you download and install Boink, then it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to set up. Um, what you do is you register an email with the projects. Um, that email then is allocated, um, or you're giving a, a special identification number, um, which which then is what you use uh, for all the grid coin work as well. And um, one of the things you have to do. This is all explained on the grid coin website. Um, but um, when you um, go into any of the projects, you actually register as a team of Gridcoin so that everyone knows that all the work being done by everyone um, is actually contributing towards the Gridcoin team, and that's how the amount of work is, is assessed. Um, and then it just runs in the background, and you can set... Um, how the computer works. You can have it on the background. You can have it working while you're working, which isn't advisable because it will crash. Um, how much storage you give to it. Um, how often it checks. I mean, it's very, very. Um, um, it's very able to be, um, you know, really um, made simple or complicated depending on on how geeky you are. Uh, you can go to any of the projects, websites. Um, the cool thing is that they show you the results of what you've been doing. So um, when they finish the project, um, they get them published in scientific uh, literature. And you get to see that you helped contribute to those breakthroughs. So it's a, a seriously cool thing. Um, anyway, so back to... So that's Boink. And... As you're processing, um, you are now able to link it to Gridcoin through the Gridcoin team. And uh, how Gridcoin works is that it's a proof of stake. So in essence, all this work you're doing in Boink, it's registered under your identifier, and then it's also registered back into your, your wallet. So I'll open the Gridcoin wallet now. Here's a wallet. I've obscured uh, some of the sensitive information. Um, this is what my wallet looks like. Uh, this wallet is what does, if you like, the mining. It works in the background. Um, it's obviously supporting the network of Gridcoin. Um, it uses very little processing power. It's uh, incredibly efficient. And um, what you are able to do is set it up quite easily. Um, and as you do the boink work, it's then registered, and um, that registration takes place into the wallet. The wallet um, then assesses your proof of stake, and over time allocates you, um, you know, basically mining. Um, well, it gives you grid coin for the mining. If you don't want to do all the mining and the boink, you are able to operate this wallet with some grid coin in it and you will receive interest so um, you, there are different options and so the great thing about grid coin it can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be and it's pretty well um, explained and there's a good community backing up to explain stuff so looking at um, how much work you need to do so it only works, uh, the whole Boink system works on what is called an average work. And so you have your overall work done on asteroids. I've done a million hash thingies, whatever it is. I'm not sure exactly what, but I know it's a lot of processing power. Um, that's taken quite a lot of months to get to that level. But the thing you're actually judged on 
is your average work done and this is to encourage you to keep going um, and not stop which is obviously what they want they want all, all that computer resource available all the time um, and so the average work done is based on the last two weeks and so you can see here on asteroids um, I had stopped doing the boink and it fell from over 4,000 right down to almost zero uh, within a matter of two weeks um, or even less, 10 days or so. And I started processing again and boinking again and it's slowly gone back up to above 2,000. That's taken nearly a month to do, although I am running two projects. The other one is the POGS. Um, a cosmology uh, kind of project um, and that one has also risen so you get to a certain level where you reach equilibrium and so um, you'd need more computers to be able to increase further um, some people are doing that they're actually um, they have maybe four or five computers doing the boinking and then another computer runs um, the wallet separately and you only need one wallet because everything, remember all those five computers are actually connected through the identifier to your account. So you could have 100 computers doing it and it would still all be coming back to your account. So back on um, on the Gridcoin uh, wallet, um, it's a straightforward wallet. Um, you can send coin, receive coin, that sort of thing. But there is a lot of innovation being added into it now. And so there is voting that goes on. Um, there is uh, smart contracts. There are a load of things being built into the blockchain now. Um, it's getting a little bit complicated for me now to keep up, which is fine because I don't need to. It's None of this stops me from doing its core function. There's a great uh, video uh, of uh, one of the key people in Gridcoin explaining how it works and um, their vision for where they want to see it go. Um, that's on the Coinergy uh, YouTube channel, uh, which I'll link um, under this video. It's really good. It, it's the first time I've seen it really laid out as to what the vision is. And they are talking about taking this whole Gridcoin concept to a level of um, uh, distributed autonomous corporation um, they're also looking at um, essentially using um, all this um, computer power that's at, at the disposal of the network uh, to be able to do things like financial modeling and one idea is that um, financial institutions could pay um, the network in grid coin to actually do some really targeted um, number crunching essentially and obviously if they were using Gridcoin to pay for that that would give value uh, to everyone who's also doing the voluntary boinking uh, because that would allow obviously um, the value of Gridcoin to go up and therefore every time you get um, payment on the mining you've done it's actually worth a lot more so it's a very clever way of, of driving further involvement um, in the boink system and they're also talking about maybe, um, you know, even going as far as offering some of that scientific research to some of the large companies, maybe Big Pharma, for example, or some other um, some other types of scientific research. And again, be paid in grid coin and again, help driving uh, the whole effectiveness of the system. I have um, I've actually raised with the community in grid coin that. Um, if you consider that it's a proof of stake and that um, you're rewarded for proving you've done something in the real world um, uh, with computer power, then one of the things I've been thinking about is that we could end up, for example, a small town, um, could be using renewable energy and solar systems, and uh, rather than relying on a utility or a company to stabilize the grid and, and sort out uh, distribution, we could be using um, a decentralized distribution network system or software and that everyone who points their computers towards supporting that smart grid system would actually be rewarded in a local currency, uh, say like a solar coin or something. And so um, you could actually find ways to incentivize uh, decentralized computing power 
which can be applied to real, you know, real world situations. I think a smart grid kind of system could be actually one of the first uses of that. Um, the other option is that, you know, I, I'm a big believer that grid coin needs to also be used as a currency. And I think one of the interesting uh, possibilities is that given the link with university research, um, that it would be interesting to see if that some of the tuition fees or maybe the, um, you know, the, the um, equipment that uh, scientific students have to pay for um, as part of their tuition fees could actually be paid in grid coin. And so actually we, we would have students even before going to university, uh, doing using grid coin, doing the Boeing system and actually storing up some value to help pay towards tuition. That could be uh, one of the options. The other the op other option would be to make it a currency uh, to be linked to the MOOC uh, online learning system, which is uh, becoming very mainstream at the moment. So there's some really big options for this coin. I think it's got some real uh, value in the real world and um, the, certainly the the guys pushing the technology are really taking it as far as, as it can go. And what's interesting is just how it's been so under the radar, um, as this chart shows, because if you go back further, uh, there was next to nothing happening in terms of price. Um, it's been very, very, very stable for a very long time, uh, certainly since I got involved. And I got involved because I was reading all about how Bitcoin was wasting huge amounts of electricity because of the hashing to stabilize the network, to make the, um, the ability to, to find Bitcoin harder. Um, and it just felt like one of the unsustain unsustainable aspects of Bitcoin in the longer term over the next couple of decades. And then I heard about uh, Gridcoin and how they were trying to solve that problem and actually use the computing power to some good in the real world. Anyway, that's uh, that's very much my journey with this, and I've been very very happy with it. I love it, <laughs> and I won't be selling out no matter what the price. I think I'm in this for the very long term. Very interested in seeing where where it eventually goes. Anyway, I hope this was useful. Um, if there's any more details about the Gridcoin that uh, you want to ask then let me know in the comments below and please share and like this video that really helps um, you know get the word out on Gridcoin and please subscribe as well and uh, I'll be doing some more videos soon about um, some of the investments and about the sorry state of the cryptocurrency market at the moment and what maybe is behind that anyway thanks for your interest and talk to you again soon bye